So I'm getting all bundled up with my scarf, my heated vest, not to go on a winter exploration because it's spring, but I'm going to an estate sale. Have to wait outside for a little bit in line, but that's okay. Because when else do you get to go inside a complete stranger's home? You wanna look in their basement? Go ahead. Open up all their kitchen drawers and see what's in there? Be my guest. See what they have in their garage? Why not? That's what we are going to do today, and it looks like it might be a digger sale. Meaning, you can go in the drawers, you can go in the closets, you can go in the basement, you can go in the bedrooms, you can go in the bathrooms, you can go anywhere in the house. And those are my favorite types of sales. So let's see what we can find. I see a sign. Is there going to be a line already? Oh, I see cars. I see cars. Oh, there's a line. There's a line. Oh boy. <laughs> so I'm about an hour early and yeah, already a line. Now I like to park where I can get out easily. So we're going to park here. A little walking won't hurt you. Cool. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Where do you start? <laughs> well, that supper room's all Christmas, and then everything else is just digging through boxes. Wow. We should like enable a lot of this stuff. Oh gosh, no pad city. Oh my gosh, this is a dream. I'm not buying those though. These are all filled? <laughs> this seems to be a lot of craft This is a sec, I yeah. I guess, there, I guess there wasn't enough <laughs> upstairs. Oh my gosh. Wow, second floor bathroom. We're gonna look at this stuff. Now, someone rummaged through here and they missed the snorks. You can't leave the snorks behind. And the smurfs, the snorks and the smurfs. And that's a little pound puffers. We got more Cabbage Patch dolls. I might as well grab them. They left the snorks. This place is nuts. Like, I can't tell you how insane this, this is with so many people here. It's absolutely crazy. Well, round one, I got this whole bag that has vintage Cabbage Patch Kids linens, all the vintage um, uh, napkins, some puzzles, etc. for a whopping $10. 
I don't even know what time it is. I still have to go to the upstairs where there is a whole another craft room, but I have to take some layers off. <laughs> it is way too warm in there to be wearing a heated vest, even though it's off. So I'm excited, 10 bucks. I'll go upstairs, see what's up there, then go back down in the basement for round two. So as you can see, the street's pretty busy. The cops were already here this morning because someone parked in front of someone's driveway. And when the homeowner asked them to move, they said no. So the cops were called. So if you're at this type of sale, just park responsibly. You know, don't block someone's driveway. Don't block someone's mailbox. Make the world a happier place. Oh wow, she has something. I guess that's a boy. Guess we're not going in there. Well, I guess we'll go back in here. Can't get in the craft room. Excuse me. Something behind you. Oh, look how cute those are. This is where you store your. Oh, these in here. Drawers are sold or the stuff inside sold? Are the drawers sold or the things inside? The drawers are sold. Okay. I'm sure some of these stamps are worth. What's in here? Oh, photos. That's not good. Oh my goodness. Oh, Shirley Temple. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a nice purse. Oh, very cute. <coughs> Alright, you just stay in there. I'm not going to do that. Aww. That's adorable. Oh my goodness.
They brought that up. Ooh, finger waving lotion. Oh my gosh, it's a frame reader. So little taffy. Oh, that's cool. Wow, look at all these. Need Douglas fudge. Douglas fudge. $75. Oh my gosh, that's true. Wait, there's more. There's a whole um, garage full of stuff. second go around got more stuff so in total I paid $28 for everything that I got at this sale it was a fun one I maybe should go back in no I can't I can't have enough have enough what a sale that was a sale to start off the estate sale season it has been some time since I've been to an estate sale and this was the sale if, if all the other estate sales are going to be like this estate sale in terms of the quantity of items we are in for a treat I uh, there was a lot there was a lot I was there for two hours and I barely scratched the surface the basement was filled the craft room on the second floor I mean that was just filled the garage was filled everything was filled you had your array from your newer houseware items your household items to your antiques to your primitives to your retro to your vintage just it overwhelming yes but also fun i tried to take my time looking through the bins and you had to move bins stack them back up unstack them there was just so much this would have been a crafter's dream you have an entire room with all these shelves and and little drawers and everything just filled everything was filled what i heard is that the woman of the home after her husband passed away she just started buying and buying and buying and this is a newer home the home was built in 2016 i believe so it's not an old home, you know, that accumulated things for 50 or 60 years. This is a newer home. But she just kept buying and buying and buying. And many people, I heard them say, wow, you know, this, I, I, I don't know who this lady was, but I love her because she bought such nice stuff. And she did. She most likely was a crafter. If you have that kind of room, I think you should be a crafter. She was very well organized. Every drawer was marked. Every tote in the basement was marked. Every box was marked. So she knew where everything was. And I guess when you have that much stuff, you have to know. In total, I spent $28, which I thought was good. Now, should I have bought more? Renee, you just should have bought all sorts of ribbons and papers and stamps. And I, I probably should have. But I guess my thinking was, so I, I don't know what I need in the future. You know, what type of ribbon what type of stamp I'm going to need. So I didn't, I didn't want to just buy to buy, to have it, to store it away, and maybe it'll be what I need in the future. Sure, I would have saved money by doing that, but I went through and I purchased what I liked or what I thought could go with some of the paper bundles that will be put on Etsy. There was a lot to go through. So yes, $28, what did we get? Just a little glimpse, the most, vintage vintage items that I found were these labels these were upstairs 
Again, they had a lot of nice older furniture, some primitive furniture, antiques, antique dolls, antique doll accessories, and the prices reflected their value. You know, they're not selling for five or 10 bucks. You saw the prices on some of these things. You know, those prices are more for the collector and going to a sale like this, a collector will be able to get those items and be able to touch it, look at it, feel it versus going on eBay and it may be missing a chip, a crack, etc. But we did find these. So it's a whole assortment of vintage labels. You have carrots, you have the early June peas, more t peas, uh, tiny, oh, these are beans, tiny refugee beans. It's gonna make me hungry for some beans. <laughs> String beans. Ooh, we have a whole bunch of applesauce labels. These are really nice, they're a nice shape and they had been overlooked in all the hustle and bustle of people upstairs. We did find some vintage Disney puzzles. These aren't worth that much, you know, a dollar or two, but they were cute. I like the puzzle, the puzzle boxes alone. They did have some 1980s toys. There were Cabbage Patch dolls and some other dolls, but those uh, were scooped up before I could look at them. But I did find some other 80s things. We have some snorks. Do you remember this cartoon, the snork, snorkels, snorks, because they have a little snorkel. We also found some little Smurf figures. I got a sheet set of Cabbage Patch. How cute, how cute. There were the bags with the Cabbage Patch clothing, but I, can't, you know, I, I need to probably sit down and just look on eBay for all Cabbage Patch stuff to know which outfits are rare and desired um, because you could buy them all and you know, as a reseller, not make that much money on them. As a collector, it would have been perfect. We got a whole bunch of napkins. <laughs> I spent like the first 10 minutes at the sale looking through napkins. Uh, we have Christmas napkins. I tried to get the ones that were still in the package. I know I should have bought them all. Crafters love the napkins, but I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit more selective. I personally love these, the Care Bear Cousins napkins. I wish that the woman would have had a whole bin of you know this, this kind of stuff. Well, she did, but they weren't Care Bear napkins. This takes me back to going to the party store to pick out what I wanted as a kid for my party. If I would have known then what I know now, I just would have bought the whole store. So we got a bunch of those napkins. Uh, let's see. Upstairs, I also found these diadem hairpins in the original box. I could probably use those. So yes, craft-wise, I I got a decent amount. We have some Santa Claus cutouts. Um, these are Mary Mac Publishing, printed in Hong Kong. Got a whole bunch of keys. It's very Alice-y. I did buy this whole little box of ink pads. Um, they're Chalks Acid-Free Pigment Ink. Some of these look like they have not been used. Yeah, it's just all ink. So you're gonna throw it in there. I even got some Christmas labels in there. Some of these. Now, the woman did buy a lot on clearance. You many of the tags were clearance so she was thrifty these are actually really cute this looks like it's target um label so we have a whole box of those in regards to stamps i also picked up this martha stewart stamp mount for clear stamps and then i got some martha stewart clear stamps these are halloween resale value on these there's so many on there but for your practical use much, much cheaper than going to Michael's or another craft store and buying them. We got those. We got some of this K&C Company papers, die cut card stock. I wish it would have been more like this. I like these. So we got a bunch of those. Oh, we got some more clear stamps. I like these. Uh, To-do list. This belongs to please sign a date. So again, there was a clearance sticker. It was originally $6.99 and then on clearance for $1.99. I I maybe paid a dollar or less. 
less for that. Um, we also got some of these card tags. I think I picked up a few of those. And we even found a Mickey Mouse watch amongst all the stuff. But I have you know, another bag full of some of the crafting things. I just don't, I don't think you want me to, to show you every single little craft item that I purchased. This is a two day sale. Not sure what the second day will be like, how much will be left. I think that they do a discount on the second day. Lots of people, the cops were called in the morning because someone parked right in front of someone's driveway. Don't do that at a sale. Be respectful of the neighbors and try to just keep the peace. Lots of people, lots of things, lots of totes, and a lot of fun. <laughs> Uh, I know I'm gonna be told you should have bought it all you should have bought all of it you should have kept buying just shove it in the bag shove it in the bag we still have it's just starting the estate sale season here it slows down during the winter and spring and amps up so we are just starting so there is plenty of time to just put it in the bag and buy it all and hopefully we'll find more sales like that well, I hope you enjoyed this. I know I did. It was a lot of fun to rummage and see what this woman purchased and stored away. And now we all can take some enjoyment out of it, whether we use it for crafting or we just think it's so cute and retro like these Care Bear napkins and enjoy it ourselves. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. And I will see you all next time for the next adventure here at Paper and Moose. Mm -hmm.